Now I'll continue with the last part of us moving to the Philippines. You hear a lot of echo behind me. That's cause the house is totally empty now. So the movers finished up yesterday and we were pretty tired. So our main goal was to get some much needed rest. So here's a look at an empty house in Germany. This was our living room. Only the plants are left. So we're just gonna clean up the place. This other room here is our bedroom where these curtains are. We had a wall that we made here because this room here was bigger. So we kind of made it into a bedroom. Totally empty now. So there's not a lot of cleaning we have to do. Just mainly dusting, clean the floor, painting is not required. We have a, this was a spare bedroom. See, we have a makeshift bed. Just my suitcase, some boxes we have to get rid of. We kind of hang out in the kitchen more. My wife is busy cleaning. I told her to take a break, but there she is. She doesn't want to take a break at all. What did you say? Just make a video, baby. I don't want to take a break? No. Uh, I can answer that. Okay. My name is Faye, and that's Colin. <laughs> <laughs> she has worked very long, very hard, because we had to move a lot of her stuff from Lyman, which is about an hour and a half drive away. And we had to run there two times last week just to pick up some things. And I brought a lot of things back. The plants here, this is a little pepper tree from the Philippines. I'm gonna give those to her son and Lyman. This is a little dragon fruit plant that I started from the seeds of a dragon fruit tree. I think this may be another pepper plant. This nice pretty plant here is actually a potato plant. <laughs> it looks good. So the basement is empty. Our other storage room that we had across the hallway there, totally empty. So let me get out of her way. She'll, yeah. She will chew me out. <laughs> so, can you grab, grab me, hand me my jacket, right? Wait, let me grab this. See there, she got on me already. Uh, Ushande, see she speaks German, Filipino, and English of course. So she'll chew me out in either one of those languages. Anyway. My little hangout outside, it's all empty. I had a little table and chair all gone. Hello. <laughs> so, a view of the yard, it's fall time. It looks pretty. Very pretty. Wet and cold. So, that's a wrap. Well, today is the uh, 17th of November, 2023. We have a lot of boxes to get rid of. Based on the kitchen and the pantry. Trash to get rid of. So I told my wife we need to do a pack up the car. Plus I rented a car, sold my car 
this week. Because working for the Army, there's a clearing process you have to do. So all you old soldiers out there know about that. And the next two weeks, we're gonna spend me doing what I call, what we call out processing. They'll go around a lot of different agencies on base to clear, and that's to make sure you don't leave holding anything. So we got rid of two major hurdles, being the car, the furniture, cleaning up the apartment, there'd be no issue. There is one slight issue with the landlord and, and he raised the rent on the energy prices. So we have that issue that's still lingering with the government because they don't believe his math. So I ain't sure how that's gonna work out here in the next couple weeks. Because the finance office don't believe him, they don't wanna pay the extra cost because they and I think he's shady, which he is. So, but that battle will be in two weeks. We will finally move out of here completely on the 27th of November. Drive up to Lyman or the Heidelberg area. We're gonna stay there for a little bit. And then we've got our flight booked on Qatar Air. My wife's a little disappointed because she wanted Emirates, but it was, Emirates was very expensive and the government wasn't going to pay, especially for a one-way ticket. So we had to choose the next best cutter or guitar. So my little sweetheart is burning. I'm not making her do all this. I tell her to take a break. We're supposed to go shopping. Look at that look. <laughs> take a break. Take a break for a couple days. Because it's not like the place is that filthy. And as the movers went out, we slept, we swept the floor everything just to get up all the, you know, the cuttings from the boxes and wrapping paper and whatever dust and trash. So it's pretty good, I mean, it's a, it's an old apartment. It's cleaner now, well, when we got it, it wasn't that great. I took pictures of the balls and dirt and hair and stuff that had accumulated, like in the radiator for the heaters, especially in the other, bedroom she pulled all that stuff out of there so I took pictures of all that to show all the dirt it's kind of like somebody just swept the floor and took out the trash and there was a, and even the blinds that you let down behind that's on the windows cake with spiderwebs and stuff so we literally and it's good our furniture wasn't here when we we literally had to clean the house up before we could move anything in here. And there were tons of spiders, so spider webs. So it looked like the place had been there then. And as I see, a lot of more, a lot more spider webs we need to get rid of. And it's been a constant battle on the spiders, I tell you that. I think that's kind of the place was left empty for so long and with the vegetation out there in the garden I don't know you can see it very vegetation perfect place for all kind of critters to live you just open your door up a little bit and everything will try to run in baby take a break she's been working on then take a break, please. I wanted her to take a break this weekend and we can start Monday. We have a whole full week to get all this done. And that's the week of Thanksgiving. So we're kind of blowing off Thanksgiving. <clears throat> because we ain't got a kitchen to cook nothing in. And on base, they don't have like the bigger community is a place you can go and pay for a Thanksgiving dinner, so, yeah. And we're not really interested in crashing somebody's party. 
Yeah. And we may just go out to a nice German restaurant and have a meal somewhere. We'll see. We will see later. So, next week we'll just be packing our bags, our suitcases. Got to drop off some stuff in Lyman. Get get the travel stuff we need for the flight. In Heidelberg. In Heidelberg. So, getting ready for the TIFF. Turn over into full retirement. We do have a couple outstanding issues, as always, especially getting the pay and everything straight. Still waiting for Social Security to get the act together. You know, uh-oh, somebody's passing out. Look at that girl, lay down. Take a break, baby. Um. This, we got all next week. We just got rid of the furniture yesterday. You don't, you're, you're in no rush. I'm gonna help you clean all this. You don't need to work, you know, through a pedos. She wants it to be perfect. And I get it, me too. This place right now as it is, is cleaner than we got it, believe it or not. <laughs> Feli is a Feli is a perfectionist. No, I just want. Are these to window sills or ledges here? Tons of dust. See, not even hardly nothing comes up. And stains. Yes, stains were everywhere. This floor here. That's his see how brown. bright That's it is. Us. When we moved in, it was dark brown, and I thought it was just the color of the floor till we yeah. spilled something on it and a clean spot came out. Even the movers thought it who 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 been here before who been here before in this house moving in. Other military folks commented that the floor was new. We said no, it was just dirty, and it was really dark brown. And I had to laugh when he said, And there's a still a spot there. And um, yeah, he thought we put down a brand new floor. But it was really like had a caramel color to it. It was really dark. It wasn't this light at all. But we found out it was just extremely dirty. It never been locked. So whoever had the place. And also, he thought, he really thought we changed the floor, but we, we really did. We changed it from very dirty to very clean. Yeah. See? Yeah, he thought it was a new floor. We put in a new floor down there. It's like, no. Nah. So he was surprised to find out that the floor was just dirty. Because it was about as dark as this floor here is. So if you see the two contracts, they were about the same color. That's how dirty that one was. And this is the normal color of this one. Yeah. And, and they couldn't find out. It was just, I mean, dirt. Dirt. So whoever had the place before just never mopped the entrance. If they did, I don't know what they mopped it with. A dry mop, probably. All right, it's clean. So anyway, we're enjoying our last few days here. We'll probably drive around, take some video, some pictures. Before we roll out of Ansbach, finally. Because we won't be coming back. We'll be headed on to the Philippines all hours. Well, we got some paperwork we need to send to the Customs folks in Manila before our household goods arrive. Well, we have to do that as soon as possible because they're not going to ship the household goods from Germany until we send these documents that they're wanting on the shipment. So we'll be sending that really quick. But I got to wait to get to work on Monday, scan all that stuff in, have her sign the documents, and we send it on so we could get the tax exemption. So we don't have to pay nothing 
I think the processing fee for the paperwork is a thousand pesos, so like twenty dollars. So we won't be charged for the value of our household goods as a whole. Uh, she's going to be applying as a returning Filipino citizen. And then the mover should bring that all that stuff straight to our house. So thank you to the U.S. Army for that. That's a blessing. So that being said, I am going to wrap this up right now and try to get my baby to take a break so we can go get rid of four or five big bags of trash and some boxes from clean up from the moving. And then, um, whatever, maybe we'll go out to dinner. We'll be eating out. But she'll probably say, no, it costs too much money. She saves me money. But we'll see, we shall see. So, thank y'all for joining us. And we will be doing again. So, this is Cullen and Faye. Bye, bye. Signing off for now. Bye now.